I'm going to use one of these magnetic drill presses. I got this one on Amazon. It costs way too much money for what it is. Change of plans. This is as far up as this goes. You see the problem here? How much that bit sticks out? I mean, I need, I need four inches. I can't use it for anything where my bit is longer than this base. So here's what I'm going to do. See how this is mounted on the low end of this slide? I think if I pull this apart, I take this loose and I rotate it 180 degrees and then I put the slide in, see if that gets me a little more clearance. All right, well there's no spring, which is always a good sign. A couple of lock washers. Now let's see if I can pull it off of here. Now let's look at this. So it's got six bolts. And this, so maybe, well, let's try Maybe if I flip the whole thing around. All right, so this is the rack. I'm gonna try flipping it around because it's gotta stop. So I've flipped the rack and I've also mounted the drill so the head is 180 degrees upside down. It will allow it to go up to there. And would then let me go up and down. Which, when you add the bit, it's still not enough. It needs to be up like here. So here's how I'm going to modify this to make this work. So with the drill bolted here, I think we're all right. We can get enough, enough height, but we run out of room on the, on the rack. So what I'm going to do is it was originally installed kind of like so, where this acts as a stop on the base. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to drill new holes so that it sits flush like so, and then that will move the stop to that point which will allow it to rise up to about there which should give me enough room like barely to run a standard drill. I'm going to put this on, get it lined up so it's in the center and punch it. And I think this base plate is, ah, is actually made of aluminum. I'm going to put on hearing protection before I do that again. All right, that's tight. I'm gonna lube these ways. Since I had it apart, I've got to adjust the gibs. All right, I'm gonna put down all the way and I'm gonna just snug these up and we'll try it out, see if it works. There you go, guys. If you find yourself in the position where you bought one of these, and my attitude is bad because it really is, it's not a great product. But if you find yourself in a position where you bought one of these and you miss the little note on the tag here that says it's got 50 millimeters of travel, which is about two inches, flipping the drill mount on the carriage and then drilling a couple of new screws for the rack, that will give you some usable travel. So now you can see, I mean, that's about an inch and it goes up, hell, I don't know, four inches, I can measure that. A drill bit will now fit in there when it's clamped to something and you can drill a usable hole. So yeah, that did it. It's working the way I expected it would work, you know, when I bought it. The best thing you could do is not buy one of these things. 
This is the 40H and I bought it because it was the higher horsepower and it had the better chuck. But when I got it, it had the crappier chuck and it doesn't matter what the horsepower is if you can drill that much. So the way it's set up, your drill bit would have to be an inch and a half long to actually use it. If you bought one and you've gotten to where I'm at, flip the drill on the carriage, drill two new holes and remount the rack and then you'll have this and at least it'll be usable. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I was pretty frustrated with the thing. I tell you, when I got it up here, I realized it wouldn't do what I, what I thought it would do. So if you're in the same boat, give that a try. But anyway, on that one, thanks for watching.